live this Monday, May 18th, 2009. I am Jason Burmis. This is the Info Warrior. Three hours straight news blitz slash the phone calls, 866-582-9933. And I think the two main stories that I'm going to be covering this evening, although I have a, a nice little stacker right here, are going to be implantable microchips. Yeah, I know. It's it's a subject everybody loves. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside as well. And this uh, Benazir Bhutto story. I, I, I had heard something earlier today or over the weekend, I think it was, that uh, the foreign press was saying that the Cheney hit squads, the CIA hit squads that Seymour Hirsch was talking about, had ordered the death of Benazir Bhutto. Now, I took that with a grain of salt. I did not realize that the source of this uh, news story was Hirsch himself. Now, I'm thinking to myself, well, that's actually a very good source. And we need to talk about that in depth because there's a whole implication in what she said and what Hirsch said she got killed for. Hirsch said that uh, Buto, who if you didn't, if you guys don't know, you know, was going around, looked like... Uh, she was going to be maybe the next president of Pakistan. And remember, this is a long-time globalist. She's been around for a while. But she starts telling a little bit of truth. Um, apparently, I, I was very, very hesitant to ever really talk about this in depth because I didn't know, you know whether she was spewing disinformation purposely or she knew something other people didn't know. She claimed that Omar Saeed Sheikh had murdered Osama bin Laden. Now, for those who don't know who Omar Saeed Sheikh is, this is the guy who got pinned as the person who beheaded uh, Daniel, uh, what's his name? Daniel Pearl. Look at you, Jaron. I'm proud. You see, he gets an e-cigarette right there. Boom. He wins one right there. Boom. He's in. Yeah, Daniel Pearl. And Daniel Pearl had went over to the Middle East to do reporting on Islamic uh, terror funding. And... Uh, Omar Saeed Sheikh had this really close relationship with the Pakistani ISI, who in turn was funding some of the hijackers. He could have been a double or triple agent, maybe working with U.S. intelligence as well. Because really that Pearl thing instilled even more fear in us at home, and it's really murky what happened there. All I know is that uh, Saeed Sheikh has all sorts of intelligence ties. So Budo gets on uh, national, I think it was British television, and she claims that Omar Saeed Sheikh is the one that murdered Osama bin Laden. Now, maybe up until this point, if this is true, bin Laden was just working as an asset. He knew he had been protected. He was really still around in Afghanistan. Perhaps uh, the book Jawbreaker is correct. Uh, if you don't know what Jawbreaker is, we have this uh, CIA guy go public and say, yeah, we had bin Laden in our sights. We were told to back off. We weren't allowed to take him out. So, very interesting developments. Now, if this is true, and the CIA hit squad that killed Budo was there to kill her because she was leaking information that bin Laden had been dead for a while, Hirsch immediately says that this would have called into play whether or not we should be in Afghanistan or not. I mean, does anybody out there still think that he's really around or he's the mastermind of anything? He's an intelligence operative. And you can have the president of Pakistan go on MSNBC and say it, and Sean Hannity says, poppycock, conspiracy nuttery. It doesn't exist. This is the Info War with Jason Burmes. We'll be back after this, 866-582-9933. The good old folks at New Silver Solution. And the website is supernaturalsilver.com. Supernaturalsilver.com. Uh, this is something that kills bacteria, viruses, you name it, well documented. And they've got it down to a super small nano-sized particle, supernaturalsilver.com. Check them out at infowars.com, supernaturalsilver.com. All right, folks, we are back. And I, I don't want to forget about this uh, paramilitary you know, Nazi youth force that's out there. I, I posted it over the weekend. Uh, we did a story about it on InfoWars on Sunday. Uh, as soon as it was out, people were sending it to me, and I, I really do want to get into that. But we're going to play that Benazir Budo clip in this segment. Before that, I want to thank one of my great sponsors, 
mysolarbackup.com. It's mysolarbackup.com, 877-327-0365, 877-327-0365. We're talking about 1,800 watts of power. See, this works when a generator is out. You know, when you need power, this will work without any power. And, you know, like myself, I'm home maybe, I don't know, I sleep there and maybe like two waking hours a day. You can literally power your house. I mean, if you want to get off the grid, you want to plan for you, mysolarbackup.com, 877-327-0365. Now, earlier I'm talking about this Budo clip. And there's huge implications here because the ISI is really set up by British intelligence. And then in the 70s and 80s, even in the 90s, revamped through U.S. intelligence. Very close ties. Even the Wikipedia page on it really uh, reveals this. And then you find out that uh, this guy Omar Saeed Sheikh is the right-hand man of General Mahmoud Ahmed. Mahmoud Ahmed is the one who orders a $100,000 wire transfer just before 9-11 through Omar Saeed Sheikh to Mohammed Atta. So these guys have some kind of financial connection. Okay, uh, Remember, the Pakistani ISI is probably like another proxy network to recruit Islamic militants and then use them in the Middle East and then on top of that, bring them into the United States, such as was happening in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, where they were funneling in Islamic militants in this same program through their asset, Osama bin Laden. And bin Laden probably still thought he was an asset at this point because they hadn't killed him. We were well into, you know, uh, the Afghanistan invasion and even the Iraqi invasion when this occurs, and Bhutto says that uh, this guy, Saeed Sheikh, murdered bin Laden. And now Hirsch is saying that, you know, Cheney was running CIA death squads, and one of their targets was indeed Bhutto. Hit the clip. There was one report that said that you had arranged to send President Musharraf a letter to be sent in the event of your death by assassination, urging him to investigate certain individuals in his government. Is that true? Yes, it is true that I wrote to General Musharraf. I received um, information from um, General Musharraf that a friendly country had passed on to them the information that I could be attacked by a gang from the Afghan uh, warlord Bethlehem Massoud or by um, Hamza bin Laden, the son of Osama bin Laden, or by the Pakistani Taliban in Islamabad, or by a group in Karachi. So I sent back a letter saying that while these groups may be used, I thought it was more important to go after the people who supported them, who organized them, who could possibly be uh, the financiers or the organizers of the finance for those groups. And I named three individuals who I thought were their sympathizers. Now I understand that I could be wrong and my suspicions could be misplaced, but these are the people that I suspect want to stop the restoration of democracy. They want to stop my return because they know in 1993, when Pakistan was on the brink of being declared a terrorist state, I stopped the rise of terrorism, and they know that I can do it again. So I feel that these are the forces that really want to stop not just me, but the democratic process and the will of the people from triumphing. And uh, in terms of these three people that uh, you mentioned, um, were, they, were they members of or associated with the government? Yes, well, one of them is um, a very key figure in security. He's a former military officer. He is someone that um, has had dealings with... Um, Jaish Muhammad, one of the banned groups with Maulana Azhar, who was in an Indian jail for decapitating three British uh, tourists and three American tourists. And um, he also had dealings with uh, Omar Sheikh, the man who murdered uh, Osama bin Laden. Now I know that having dealings with people uh, does not necessarily mean direct evidence, but I also know that internal security has totally collapsed all right, let's, uh, let's pull and it right there. You know, the guy never follows up and acts like, oh, uh, murdered Osama bin Laden, o o Omar Sheikh. I, I don't know anything about that. Hmm. So this Hirsch thing, hopefully it will develop. We really need to see more Hirsch on either uh, the Alex Jones show or my show or both. Hmm?